So <clears throat> the answer again is given to us here. B, A, D, E, C is the right sequence. Now, this is easy when it comes to picking uh, the, the opening statement. A says, but why should governments consider a carbon tax when they could control emissions? So you cannot you cannot start your sentence with a conjunction first of all, and secondly, I mean you can you can start the sentence but not the paragraph, right? And secondly, there must be some kind of relation with this question. But but why should governments consider a carbon tax when they could control emissions? So there is haphazardness. The carbon tax idea has not even been introduced to us. A cannot begin the paragraph. Such a tax would so such is not known to us. Such a tax again is not to not known to us because oil emits more carbon dioxide per unit of energy generated than does natural gas. A carbon tax would vary with the type of fuel. Again, so we feel that we could start the paragraph. One way governments can decrease air pollution is to impose a tax on industrial carbon dioxide emissions, right? So one way governments can decrease air pollution is to impose a tax on industrial carbon dioxide emissions. Right? Then it says such attacks, the great virtue of such attacks. Such attacks would induce industry to substitute less polluting fuels for those carrying a higher tax and also to reduce uh, total use of energy. The great virtue of such a tax is that it would provide incentives for industry. So both can go together, right? C and D are perfect statements. The problem is how would you fit E and A? Because oil emits more carbon dioxide per unit of energy generated than does natural gas and coal more than oil, a carbon tax would vary with the type of fuel. Now, this is a very important statement. So, how does it go? It says here, one way government can decrease air pollution is to impose a tax on industrial carbon dioxide emissions. Then you basically ask a question, but why should governments consider a carbon tax when they could? So basically the idea of carbon tax has been introduced and immediately you basically ask a question. But why should governments consider a carbon tax when they could control emissions by establishing energy efficiency and conservation standards, by legislating against coal use or by increasing? So the author says basically why should government consider tax when there are other ways of doing it? And then he says such a tax, such a tax. So he says the great virtue. So basically you start with B, B saying that one way government can decrease pollution is by imposing tax but then you ask question why should government consider this kind of tax when there are other ways of doing it then he says the great virtue so the answer to a is basically in the great virtue so you say the great virtue of such a tax is that it would provide incentives for industry to achieve emission reductions why incentives because you are paying tax so, if you want to basically pay less tax, you will have to achieve reductions, right? And there is incentive, right, in the form of tax. Less reduction, uh, less, less pollution, uh, less carbon, less tax. So, B, A, D becomes a logical link. You basically give a, give a solution, then you say why this solution is better, then you say this solution is better because of this reason. So, B, A, D is a link. And then it says, because oil emits more carbon dioxide, Per unit of energy generated than does natural gas, carbon tax would vary with the type of fuel. And this variation is explained in statement C. Such a tax would induce industry to substitute less polluting fuels. Why would they substitute less polluting fuels? Because uh, the, the more the pollution, the more pollution the fuel creates, the more the tax you have to pay. And E says because oil emits more carbon dioxide per unit of energy than does natural gas carbon tax would vary with the type of fuel and how is this variation so basically ec is a pair so you have bad as one pair ec as the other pair and bad ec is the right sequence why because this is basically b takes the broader outlook and therefore bad must go together so because oil emits more carbon dioxide per unit of energy than does natural gas and coal more than oil a carbon tax would vary with the type of oil and therefore such a tax would it would induce industry to substitute less polluting fuels for these for those carrying a high tax so variation carrying a high tax right so basically ec is the 